والهجرة الانتقال من بلد الشرك إلى بلد الإسلام والهجرة فريضة على هذه الأمة من بلد الشرك إلى بلد الإسلام وهي باقية إلى أن تقوم الساعة والدليل قوله تعالى إن الذين توفاهم الملائكة ظالمي أنفسهم قالوا فيما كنتم قالوا كنا مستضعفين في الأرض قالوا ألم تكن أرض الله واسعة فتهاجروا فيها فأولئك مأواهم جهنم وساءت مصيرا إلا المستضعفين من الرجال والنساء والولدان لا يستطيعون حيلة لا يستطيعون حيلة ولا يهتدون سبيلا فأولئك عسى الله أن يعفو عنهم وكان الله عفوا غفورا Welcome to another video. Um, I'm actually on my way to get some gas because I have a gathering to go to. But I wanted to uh, speak a little bit about um, a network that I'm building, the Hidra Emirat Network, in the country uh, for sisters who will need assistance when they come. There are a lot of women who, um, whose husbands will be bringing them to the UAE but can't necessarily stay due to the fact that uh, they're making a transition. You know, families are making transitions to the UAE and many times it's easier to bring the women first because there's no business set up for the men in the UAE. So, um, they're gradually coming over, maintaining the work that they have in the United States or Canada or the UK and leaving the women on their lonesome. And um, these women will need assistance. Sisters, they're, they're going to need assistance. So I'm building a network by the permission of Allah with sisters who have been living here for many, many years, between 15 to 20 years and more who will, um, it's a service-based network, of course, which will benefit everyone as a whole. Uh, the sisters who will come uh, will need assistance learning where things are, and they will get a chance to learn the UAE at an accelerated rate. Um, some sisters come and I've heard of someone being here for six years and they haven't met any sisters at all and they only know their area which is very frustrating I can't imagine being afraid or not having the ability to go out because you don't know anyone or anything you don't have anyone to help you show you around or explain things to you there are many policies and rules as well as pitfalls and benefits in this country that only someone who has been here for many years and has a lot of experience and connections will be able to explain to you and help you get over uh, the initial hurdles of coming into the UAE. Um, the reason why I'm building this network is for the benefit of the women and the families that are coming. The men usually won't have the ability to learn the country that much, especially if they're, dry, if they're dropping their wives off, their wives and their children off. So the women will have to actually do some work and she can be of some assistance with gathering information for the husband and also so that she can be comfortable and learn her surroundings. And you need assistance in doing this, just like the Muhajirin and the Ansar. You know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had an agreement with the Ansar that they would help and assist 
those who were making hijrah from 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 Mecca, which shows that everyone needs help. There's no such thing as coming to a new place, and you have absolutely no assistance at all whatsoever. That's it's disastrous. It really is. So many things can happen to you. It can even discourage a person from making hijrah. It's, it's, it's discouraging. How many stories have we heard of people just leaving and going home because they didn't maximize their hijrah uh, knowing um, anyone or having any help? It's very discouraging and it's very defeating as well. Um, especially those ladies who have small children, they need assistance. So even if you're alone, you need assistance. You need to be shown around. You need to know where things are. So um, this network is a, ser is a service-based network. And what I mean by service-based is that there will be women um, who will be a, a Hydra consultant. And their duties are to assist of course with a fee with um, the things that you need that you would need you know coming into the UAE whether that is you know help with searching for apartments um, you know getting around knowing where to uh, buy different things from and teaching you what they know about the country very 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 vital information and the reason why it's service-based is because money talks, and that's just the reality. Um, with my time being here, you know, and even the group that I have, you have sisters who will reach out and ask questions to some of the group members that actually live here, and you won't get an answer. They won't get. They won't get a response. Um, people have their own lives here and things like that and I can't guarantee you that when you come you're going to get help just sisters running to your aid that's, that's not how it's not it's not how it is due to the fact that you have people working they have their own lives and sometimes they just don't have it <clears throat> not everyone has has in them the wherewithal or the even the desire to just run in you know, assist and assistance is going to be limited, of course, because they have their own lives. However, if you if you pay, then they're going to come. And um, from the meetings that I'm having, the sisters definitely agree. If you pay, you're gonna they're going to come. Also, to avoid any istighlal, any exploitation of assistance. You know, uh, you have individuals who they may take uh, they may take people for granted, and you know we use feasibility that a lot to take advantage of people to be inconsiderate. So for everyone to understand and appreciate being here in the UAE and knowing that the nature of the place is is based upon uh, finances. And just because there's a paid service, it doesn't mean that it isn't for the sake of Allah because just putting something together for Allah's sake to help you is for Allah. It doesn't, it doesn't diminish any reward or any intention from being for Allah just because there is a, a fee to help you. So anyone is welcome to uh, use this service. I encourage you that you use the service. Uh, the sisters are going to be ready for you to take you around, introduce you. There's a lot of benefits to the service: networking, um, meeting, meeting people, getting invited to gatherings. You know, taking phone numbers. Uh, you know your children's recreation learning a lot of things and creating a bond between yourself 
and those who have been here for a while. It's very difficult to do that if you don't know who's here, you don't know what's what. And like I said, not everyone is willing to assist you and just because you're in need. They don't have they don't have the time, but people will make time if there is money involved. Now, the UAE is a place where especially if you're coming here independently, you have to strive to get in this country. You you have to strive to stay in this country. So um you know, it's not it's not easy, but that's the best that I can do. Uh, you know, I'm appealing to the women, creating this network, and inshallah, it's going to grow into something very beautiful. Not only will you benefit by using the network, those who come over and they do, for example, the employment visa they'll also be included in the network. You'll be able to help and assist the next group of women who come and need assistance because you will be able to relate to them. There are different categories of consultants that will be in the network. Those who are veterans, who know the country, who have been here for a long period of time, and then of course the newcomers who have gone through the phase and stage of coming here not knowing anything, um, being able to consult those who come and make them feel comfortable about the transition. And um, we'll, we'll all be here for each other by the permission of Allah. So there is help. Uh, there is networking. But of course, uh, there's a price. So that's what I wanted to say. I thank you all for listening. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Ask any questions if you like. Reach out uh, to us in the comment section or through email. Ask anything you'd like to ask. And we will uh, see you in the next video. Ma'asalamah.